Hello everybody and welcome back to another beautiful day on Letton Farm. Yes, these lights don't want to be on, costing me a fortune in electricity, because these come on as well, and so does the workshop lighting actually, with this one switch just here. So it's best if we keep that switched off. Anyway, uh, yes, today I have some very good news for you. I looked into the next machinery auction and discovered, I was actually amazed, discovered that the next date is next weekend. I will show you the sign in a minute. It is literally just across the road from here. They only have about four a year, so yeah, it's pretty much one per season. Um, the next one isn't until about August time, end of July. So um, yeah, this is all very interesting. Now you've obviously just seen me load up the John Deere. This is the tractor I'm going to be selling today. The reason for it is because I want to have enough money for the mortgage repayment and also for the, uh, the buying, hopefully, of uh, different machinery to do up and resell. So, yes, it is just the obvious one for me to sell. I will explain as we drive. Basically, it is the most recent one which I have got, and I don't really need it, since it is two-wheel drive. We already have three two-wheel drive tractors, so now we have four. Uh, also, the horsepower rating is very similar to some of the other tractors we have, so there really isn't much point in me owning it. And also, I've been offered a very good price, £8,500, which is valid for one week. So really, I can't turn down the offer. Now, I might also sell this tractor at some point, but I think for the time being, I'm going to keep hold of it because I really do need to have three tractors in case I have a breakdown, since I only do run old tractors here. I'm hoping to get some from the 90s soon, but um, yes. Anyway, let me just cross the road. So as you can see, we have the Farm Machinery Auction, Saturday the 20th of April. Uh, 2019 and the machine types in this auction are classic and modern. Sometimes they have just classic uh, or vintage and sometimes they have just modern. So yeah this is all very interesting. Now I have to cross the road again. Yeah so yes my plan is to hopefully buy at least one tractor or one implement to refurbish and possibly resell since it would appear there is quite a bit of money in it. This tractor was only £1,500, I might have been lucky, but yeah, obviously 8500 is the return for that. That's a pretty good profit. I mean, that is £7,000 income. Um, that is £7,000 profit, I should say. It's very good. So, I don't know if I'll always be as lucky as this, but, uh, well, we can just keep trying it. Anyway, yeah, the Z's tractor is going to be coming home with us today, but at some point, it may be replaced. If I get a four-wheel drive tractor, which I'm hoping to get fairly soon, uh, this will probably be the next one to go. One tractor I won't be getting rid of is the 135, because I really do like that tractor. And it's so multi-purpose too, it's just got so many different jobs that it can do. Right, so, I could actually go and put it over there to be honest, because that is, um, it looks to be where they're parking their tractors now. I think something has changed. I don't know why, because I never used to keep anything out here. It all used to be kept either around the back or at their other dealership. It can join the lineup. Yes, it's definitely the oldest one there, I would say. I don't think the 390T is as old as the 1630. But, um, yeah, it still looks good. Doesn't look out of place. It's going to speak to them. Get our money. Nice. <laughs> so that's... £8,500 in, £13,888 in total. Now they actually told me a very interesting story, they said that their other dealership, or their other uh, premises, has actually just closed, so everything is going to be brought across to this one, and they don't really have anywhere to put it except for here, so this yard is going to be absolutely packed, full of all of their equipment, and I think this is going to be their main and only um, premises to be selling and servicing tractors. So maybe that means we're going to have a really good selection of different machines in the very near future, as well as the auction. That'll be interesting. Anyway, yes, let's head back over to the farm, and I'll probably have a, another look in the um, the entranceway where it's going to be. Yes, actually, it doesn't say a time, so maybe it's just all day could be. Um, and although it says auction, I was reading on their website that it's not necessarily an auction. Some things are just like a, a set price, so you buy it at that price. Um, so you don't have to bid. 
I would like to pull off the road. I might have to just drive into here. Yes, it must just be in this field or this field here. Not too sure. I wonder how much the Youngs are being paid to have it held on their land. That's pretty decent. It's never There's never been one here before. It moves around. It's in a different place every time. So we might not be as lucky next time. And we might have to travel quite a long way. But uh, yeah, the timing couldn't have been better. Right, so. Somewhere here, I suppose. We'll find out next weekend. Next Saturday. Which actually is my next vlog. So... Yeah, plenty of things to look forward to. It might be a longer vlog. Depends if I manage to buy something uh, which is worth a bit of money. But we'll have a good walk around, see all the different machines. Should be good fun. A real event. As for my contractors, I have no idea. They said they'll be here first thing in the morning. It's five past nine. First thing to me is like seven or eight, but anyway. Um, maybe they're busy finishing off another field. I'll prepare myself ready for the contractors to turn up. I really could do with another trailer, so... Hmm. I don't want to spend too much money in case I find a really good machine. Plus, I could actually maybe find um, a good trailer at the auction. And buy a trailer. So I'd prefer not to go and pay the dealer prices. They're very expensive. Anyway. Just for today, we're going to have to attempt to uh, stick with my trailer. Failing that, I'll go and give some money to the Youngs and try and... See if I can borrow their trailer. But that can go in here. Yeah, one thing's for sure, we're not casting with the Zeta tractor. <laughs> I don't think it'd be capable, especially with the big trailer. Uh, right, so that is probably going to be the best tractor to use. Yeah, I would prefer to use the uh, Marston trailer from Mr. Young. Oh, crikey, here they are. They've just arrived. And that's a pretty big machine. I don't think I'm going to bother trying to cart with my trailer. It's not going to work. I'm going to be charged by... Well, it's actually charged by the hour, so... Ah, we're going to have quite a big build soon. But hopefully I can get that money back with the sugar beet which they're going to harvest. Anyway, I'm going to very quickly run over to the Young's farm. Hopefully they agree to allow me to uh, borrow their tractor. I'm... Very happy to pay though. I'm probably thinking like 150 for the day. I'll let them choose the price though. Right. Yes, you can use our tractor and trailer. It will cost 100 pounds. Please refuel it after you've used it. Nice, 100 pounds. And yes, I'll refuel it. Uh, 100 pounds plus fuel. They're very good people. But they never seem to use their own tractors, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they're actually up to. They're always in the farmhouse. They never seem to do any farm work. Unless they have other workers. I'm not too sure. Never seen anybody. But I could be wrong. Don't want to hit their plow. Right. Let's go and do some sugar beet carting. Uh, at this rate, it's probably already on its first full load. It's going to unload the harvester. Yes, it's all going to go straight to the beet merchant. Uh, there's no point in trying to store it. I just really want to see the back of this stuff. So whatever we get is just going to be extra. Um, I really don't know how full that's going to be, though. I, I'd imagine it's going to be quite full after all this. Anyway, I think it is time to unload. Whatever the capacity is. Or whatever the fill level is. This is a very small trailer, so even if it's 10% full, it'll probably fill this. Of course, I have to make sure I'm in the right place, otherwise it's going to be a real struggle uh, to unload. And this is actually more tricky than I was expecting. There we go. Yeah, so the capacity of my trailer isn't very big. 16 tonnes. And now that can continue. Although 16 tons isn't too bad at all. Uh, I think, yeah, that, th that thing has just got such a massive hopper. But considering we've already got that out of that very small section, uh, that's looking very promising. I know it's not worth much per ton, but even so. It could still be uh, a good profit. It really just comes down to what their labour costs are. I don't think they're too expensive, but of course they are running some really big machinery which will cost a lot to buy and uh, keep it running as well, have to service it all. Um, but this should give us a good idea of 
roughly how much we're going to get off the field. If we try and guess how many trailer loads. It's not bad though. Already a full load. Plus more. The, the halves still had more in it. I need the money though. £4,124. Wow. Yes, we need the money for a nice new tractor. Or a nice used tractor from the 90s. Um, and also, I really could do with a better trailer. That trailer is okay, but it's just such a small trailer. That's the biggest problem with it. Uh, so yes, it would be good to have a new traction trailer. And um, yeah, whenever I say new, I mean about 25 years old. Because the chance of me being able to afford a new tra tractor or trailer is just going to be impossible. Um, for example, this tractor which I'm driving now, what would that cost me? Like £90,000 plus the trailer? It's just not going to happen. I have £17,000 so far. Plus a £5,000 mortgage payment to pay. So that's all going to be very fun. Anyway, I'm going to go up at the top here. Look at this, they're just absolutely blasting through the field. It's nothing to them. For my single row, it was a huge job. As you can see, we're right at the end of the field now. We've made some fairly serious money as well. Uh, I think I have paid so far a few hundred pounds to the, uh, the contractor. So I would imagine, including borrowing the tractor over there, it's going to cost in the region of 400 pounds. Which isn't too bad, considering I think I've made... Which I made? About 15,000 pounds, something crazy. Uh, it's very impressive. Anyway, we have a bit more to uh, take out the harvester. So yeah, they said they were trying to get it done before lunch, which they have kind of done. Bit of a late lunch, but anyway. Uh, yeah, that is finished. And still, it's almost a full trailer again. It is, it's another full trailer. Wow. Okay, well... Um, I go and sell this, and then uh, we could do with having a bit of lunch too. Then I'll sort out this tractor, get it refueled. We've barely used anything. And return it to the Young's farm. But that's been really good, surprisingly good. I should have just done that from the start. It would have been so much better. I've spent so much, well, wasted so much time with the single row. Very nice machine, uh, but obviously, with that amount of land, it makes it. Uh, a very slow job. Right, so yes, although this is uh, all going very well, uh, it's, that is the final load for some time, I'd imagine. Uh, the canola, the Orchid Rape, is almost there. Just needs another day or so. And then that can be harvested. But there's not going to be huge amounts of money out of that. It's not a very big field. So although we do have 30, almost £34,000, uh, our money worries have not gone away yet. I, I still owe about 45000 so yeah. It's just a, a nice start. A good help. Don't think there's going to be much here. Hmm, not too bad. Anyway, yes, the driver can now head off. I think I'm going to go and have my lunch first, give the driver some time to get through there, because it's very narrow up there, especially with that massive machine. Um, yeah, so time for some corn. Like I say, I'm going to try and get some different food. There is actually a supermarket not too far from here. The only reason why I haven't been to a supermarket is because I actually can't do. I can hardly go to the supermarket in my 135. Uh, so that is another thing I'd love to have, just an old car or something, something to get around. I'd love to get you know, a 4x4, but I just couldn't afford it. So if we can start off with the car, then maybe in the future 
We can get a 4x4. Four four. Anyway. My endless supply of corn. Uh, it's actually not so good anymore. It's getting a bit old. Uh, but yeah, see you after lunch. Mmm. Corn. It doesn't get any better than corn. So, actually, do I have the fuel... T I do have the fuel tank here. My plan, then, is to just pull alongside. That's the fuel tank just there. I've got something in here, at least. There we go. And, yeah, we should probably turn the engines off, too. And, yep, we'll refuel. Done. What was that, about 13 litres? It is only fair, though, that I do refuel it, uh, even though it was still pretty much showing 100% in the tank. There we go. So, yeah, one more place to go to, which, of course, is the Sugar Beet Merchant. And then, finally, it'll be to the Young's Farm just to drop off the traction trailer. Let's get it done. I do have £100 in cash, that's good. I'll just give it to them. Post it to the letterbox. Uh, right. Probably make over £100 here. Yep, 833 Sugar beet seems good. If you have the machinery, sugar beet is good. Very expensive to get the machinery. So using a contractor is a very good way of doing it. Park it back over here, where we got it from. There we go. Such a nice tractor, though. 7485. Good trailer, too. And, yeah, I think they have a letterbox. Yep. And there we go. Done. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And, yes, next time we'll be going to the auction event, which is just up the road. And hopefully we'll be finding some pretty good deals. But until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.